Hey guys, Greg D here, back with another video, and I just wanted to make this video real quick uh, to give you guys a quick update on the uh, 2016 WRX progress. Um, and after a lot of careful deliberation with uh, closest family and friends, and realizing that you know I'm living paycheck to paycheck for the most part as it is, working 48 hours a week, uh, trying to uh, you know, just get as much extra money as I can. Um, I'm going to have school loans that are going to kick in here in six months um, for my master's degree. Um, and even though you would think that getting a job with a master's degree would obviously help me make more money, which it will, but I am $100,000 in school loan debt to get that master's degree. So, um, with all of these other factors, including a lot of messages, a lot of comments um, from my previous videos, uh, and you know, you guys just uh, many of you showing concern um, based on my situation, um, I have decided that the uh, fund anything campaign is closed. Um, the WRX has been put on hold. Um, it makes more sense to get something that is cheaper so I can save more money. Uh, something that is cheaper monthly payment wise, something that is cheaper insurance wise, something that is cheaper on gas, um, just for the time being. Now, this doesn't mean that I've totally given up the dream and the hope um, for the WRX because down the road, I more than likely will be getting it. It's just been put on the back burner so I can try to take care of uh, my family. Uh, try to take care of my finances, work on getting myself a better job and making myself more money so that I can get myself in a better place financially to afford something like that. And also with that being said, I have gotten a cheaper car. Now I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I did get rid of the Maxima. The Maxima is gone. All the bad car juju is gone for the time being. Um, but I will tell you, that this car is, in relation to the WRX, it is cheaper, uh, monthly payment-wise. It's better on gas. It has a decent aftermarket uh, support network, I guess you could say. So it is moddable. Uh, you can tinker with it. Um, and it is cheaper insurance-wise. So it's something that, much like WRX, is practical, economical, but is still fun to drive. So I'll leave it up I'll leave it up to you guys to guess what kind of car because I will be having a video probably within the, the next week um, going through all the features of the new car, uh, showing you walking you around, giving you my first drive um, impressions here. So like I said, um, WRX is on hold. Fund anything campaign is. <laughs> so, um, but thank you guys so much for those of you who have shown support, um, who have tried to talk some sense into me, um, regarding, uh, you know, maybe getting something cheaper and working my way up to the WRX. I want to thank you. You guys obviously didn't have to, uh, use your time or your energy to, uh, you know, tell me these things and show your support, but you did. And I am highly grateful for it. Uh, so with that, WRX will be coming eventually, uh, probably in a few years. Um, big thing now is going to be working on getting a better job with my master's degree because I, I literally have a week of school left. I can't wait. Um, so that's going to be my main focus here is trying to get a uh, better job, more money, something that can cover my school loans because when those actually kick in, those will probably be a bear. Those will probably you know, be six seven hundred dollars a month right there on top of you know the baby coming so <laughs> it's going to be a tough few months but i'm going to make it through and the wrx will come eventually but with this new car i also plan on making a whole bunch of youtube videos uh probably something that you might not expect uh might be considered a little bit of a sleeper but uh we'll see so thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more like this. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon.